Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is so great to have you guys. I also wanted to welcome all of my brand new subscribers and anyone who's coming across this video randomly. It's really great to have you guys. So, for today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about poop. Yes, poop. And why might you ask? Well, because poo is one of the main things you need to be looking out for when you're caring for your dragon. The poo is the earliest indicator of an illness. But, how do you check your beardies poo if they can't poop? And that is exactly what we're going to get to today. want to look out for signs that they actually are impacted. Look for those indicators. First things first is you definitely want to be keeping a log of when your dragon poops or a mental tab of it. I keep a log because I have too much on my plate and I have two babies so I need to know when they poo the last time they pooed and I keep a log of it daily because my babies poo daily. It is a daily thing doing the deuce poop poop a -doo. And the time that it becomes a problem is if they haven't pooed past a week. Now there are some dragons that only poo once a week and that is exactly how my babies were before I got them and gave them proper nutrition, um, you know, fed them better and more than what they were used to being fed. And this doesn't always link two and two. There are some beardies that have perfect nutrition and only poo once or twice a week. And that's normal for some but not my babies that's just not how it turned out so if they have not pooed past a week then you need to make certain precautions to get them to poo so the second indicator is is if they're looking bloated like if all of a sudden your baby is looking super bloated but they're acting normal or sometimes they won't be acting normal during this they might be super sluggish they might just want to sleep all day they might not want to move a lot and it might look like even that they're not trying to lay on their tummy now this can either be impaction or it can be worms. So there are two different things you definitely, if you are a new beardy owner and cannot tell the difference, you need to go to the vet immediately. The third indicator is that if they are dark, if their tail and beard is dark, if they don't want to lay on their tummy, and again if they're bloated, if they're not moving and not really that active, that's a sign of impaction. So let's get into the eight ways to cure this. The first four are your own personal way of curing them. The last three have to do with a vet. The first and foremost, the one that is most commonly used is baths. You need to give them a bath. If you have not tried anything else, the bath is the first thing that you try before you try anything else. If they don't poo in the bath, then you move on to the other steps. And if you don't know how to give a bearded dragon a bath, I have a video on that. So there you go. You can go ahead and watch that. Number two is tummy rubs. You want to give them tummy rubs and just massage the area, kind of like in a down motion, just like this. And this you can also accompany with a bath. So you can give it to them before a bath and after a bath if it hasn't gone through in the bath. Sometimes that works and it breaks it up and kind of moves it around a little bit and just gets it working through the system. If neither of those work, then certain foods will make your beardy poo, like squash. Leeks always make my beardies explode. Their butt explodes and it's gross and it's nasty and it's smelly. And it's a little liquidy so also pumpkin but I say pumpkin away from squash because not everyone knows that pumpkin is a squash so pumpkin squash same thing but all they work they work you definitely want to puree them before giving it to them in this case if they have not pooed because you don't want to give them a solid item just to shove it you definitely want to mush it up or slurry it however you want to do that to give it to them so that it kind of works through their system and gets it out the fourth one is a natural laxative. So with the natural laxative, there are two natural laxatives. This one was a vet remedy that was given to one of my subscribers. I've never used that one because the one that I am about to show you 
works really well. So the one that they said was give a little bit of mineral oil and applesauce and feed it to them for a couple days and if they don't poo within the next two days then you have to bring them to the vet again. If that doesn't work you get 100% natural prune juice and extra virgin olive oil. So what you do is you take a full one teaspoon of prune juice and half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. You mix it together in a bowl and then you take a syringe and just kind of scoop it up real quick. And I normally feed about two milliliters to three milliliters depending on how long they have not you know, pooed, but you do want to be careful because too much prune juice can actually hurt your bearded dragon's stomach. So do not give any more than three milliliters. Three milliliters is the max at a time. And after you do this, what you want to do is you can even massage their belly a little bit, but I just put them directly under the lamp, let them bask for like 45 minutes to an hour. Then I give them a tummy massage real quick, like really get in there, just massage it down and then I put them in the tub. It has worked for me nine times out of 10. And for the day that it didn't work for me, I did it again the next day. And guess what? It worked. It was a very big poo explosion in the bath, but it worked. And little Nixie here, I actually gave this homemade laxative too with the prune juice and the extra virgin olive oil right before I went to work two hours ago. And I just came back to a little surprise from this one in the tank. Two big surprises from this one in the tank. And we have Pooh. Sadly, her tail is on it, so we're gonna have to clean that. But it might work a little too well, where they have two poops and yeah. So, she's feeling much better. Now, if these do not work, it is very, very important that you get them to the vet because this is actually a life or death situation. Your bearded dragon can die from impaction. They can give them a laxative, which is not the natural laxative that I have. It's actually like a medicine laxative that they give them. Give it to them through syringe and it makes them explode. Um, within, I think, 45 minutes to an hour, at least that's how fast I've seen it work. I, it might take longer, I don't know. They can also give them an enema. That's where they <laughs> take something and shoot it up their butt. And then there's also something a little bit different where they give a saline rinse. So they could, again, stick something up your butt, but it like shoots out saline water and kind of cleans the butt and tries to get anything out that they can. Now, if none of these work and your bearded dragon is declining really fast, they will give them surgery to get the blockage out. So that's the worst come to worst scenarios, but that's the way to solve it. So with that being said, that is all I have for you guys. But today's Lizard Lover of the Week is Leo. I hope I pronounced that right. I really did try not to butcher it. If I did, please let me know. Or we can just call him Dave, as I've been told. But this individual has been there from day one, being in my reptile lovers group. He's very active in that group. He's also on my Instagram, and he's just honestly a really good character to have around. So he is the Lizard Lover of the Week this week. If you would like to be a cool Lizard Lover of the Week like him and be right here next week, you need to be super active in all of my social media accounts. And no, that does not just mean like all of my Instagram pictures because a lot of people are just doing that and it is not going to get you to win. So be active in all of my social media accounts. I have a Facebook, an Instagram, a Twitter, a Snapchat, and I have a Facebook group. If you're still watching, be sure to like this video, share this video subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for next week's video from my family to yours i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week but look how very happy she is she's not stressed out she's not all bloated anymore and she's just a cute little chunk of butt cakes little baby Oh!